Welcome everyone to Caleb Watches Movies, the channel where I, Caleb, randomly select one of the many movies that I own and I watch them and review them for you. But today is DC Fandom Day, and what just happened is what we have all been waiting for for at least the past three years. For those of us that really, really, really love Batman v Superman, I'm one of those people, probably the last four years for this film. It just released, and... I watched the entire stream and just listening to Zach talk about the movement, how it got started, how he watched it progress, and then listening to all of these people from behind this movement, this Zack Snyder cut movement, uh, it was actually very, very heartwarming. And it brought a couple of tears to my eyes seeing something so, so impossible, or at least that seemed so impossible, just become a reality. It, I mean... At this day and age, this year that we've had, how cool is that to see something that is just so beyond your reach actually get made and happen? So I, I'm so happy that this film is finally happening. I've been on record as saying I was okay with the original theatrical cut of Justice League. I thought it was a fine film. It was, I thought it was fun. I thought it was really cool seeing all these people on screen, but it's definitely obvious that it's not the same uh, themes and not the same ideas that Zack Snyder had. So we, here's the trailer. Let's take a look at this and uh, yeah, I'm going to try not to cry, but I'm no, no promises. And right off the bat, there's freaking dark side. Oh my god. And then this is the whole uh, futuristic thing that we saw in BBS. So, and hey, look, a scene where Gal sees the arrow. That was from one of the trailers. It was just like exterior shots of that one scene. Wasn't missing a lot there. Great choice of song. I mean, hallelujah. How many fans out there thought about this? And there's the freaking black suit. Oh my god. The whole Iris West scene. Hey, look. It's Iris West. She exists. I'm so excited for Cyborg too. He he was my favorite in the theatrical, in the theatrical cut, and I'm just excited to see him delved into more with this film. And then I heard about this, that he he died in the original cut, so there it is. <laughs> the original version. Oh my god. Barry standing in the in the speed force. Look at that chin on Henry Cavill, it's gonna look great. Oh my god, I'm trying not to do it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. This guy's probably fought hundreds of thousands of other super beings on the other planets. He's destroyed, right? And we have to assume he's won. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. Not us united. Yep. Yep. Tears are coming. Um, it makes you wonder, what the fuck did we see three years ago in the theaters? <laughs> that was, there's so much just in this teaser that we didn't see in that film. Oh my god. That's, it's so insane. And, and it was, uh, Snyder said that it's going to be released in four parts, one hour each, uh, which is very, very smart. I mean, business-wise, you're promoting a, a streaming service, 
why you know why get like a free trial like a seven day free trial or whatever they do at hbo max only to just see that and then cancel your service no let's stretch it out over time so that makes sense uh, but then they're going to compile it into one film which will definitely be going on that shelf behind me um wow you know speechless is such such a cliche thing to say but with this i mean it's just it's speech speechless these fans who got this to happen you have to feel so proud of yourselves <laughs> how many times have we seen films that were like oh we didn't like this or we didn't like this casting or we didn't like this thing that happened in the movie i'm gonna put my name on a piece of paper we're gonna send it to the executives and, and, and yeah we're gonna read it and then ignore it it's what's happened but the here for somehow some magic and with the whole uh, films are not coming out this year uh, everything is digital and not in, in streaming it's like the perfect timing why not do this if we were ever going to do this wow it's great seeing it's great seeing that cast back again too because that was the main thing that i loved about the theatrical cut is i i love this cast i just want to see them all together and i want to see justice league 2 and justice league 3 hearing what he had in store for those films ah I hope we get little glimpses of that in this, and, and maybe, maybe, years down the road, maybe they'll say, hey, Zach, you want to do Justice League 2 and 3? I mean, Ben Affleck's coming back for The Flash anyway, so I, I don't think it would be that hard to get everyone back for those films, but I'm so excited. Uh, they didn't say when it's coming out next year, so just kind of keep your eye out for that. HBO Max, 2021. I'm probably going to assume... Uh, probably around April, May, around the summer blockbuster time. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the biggest smile I could have on my face. What did you think about the Snyder Cut teaser? Is it something in there that surprised you, something that you're looking forward to, something that you didn't see in the teaser that you still want to see in the, in the Snyder Cut when it comes out on HBO Max? Whatever you think, comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. And if you like what you saw here, if you like my reactions, if you like what you see here on this channel, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. So you know the next time I release my next movie review, it helps me out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. This is a great event so far. DC Fandom. It's fantastic. So uh, if there's more news later today, you will see me later. So until then, take care, guys.